42 and 43. In my youth, I learned about divine divinity. I wanted to share this gift with my family, and they hated me for my divine dreams. For this, they wanted to kill me and send me away as a slave. And I slaved for years to be free. I, I used my ability and knowledge. A as a result, I was beloved, and I gained real power. I became the head of the state and of the people. While leading, I taught others to prosper. When famine struck nearby lands, others wanted to rush on us for help and support. This included my brothers, who had led my father to believe that I had died decades ago. And maybe I will talk to one or two men of value. I will talk to one or two men of value to me. Though in divinity, I will not succumb to that eye for an eye mentality. Though at the same time, I wouldn't mind a little torment time if they caused torment to me for 20 years. They tried to destroy my heart, so there was nothing in my heart for them. It is hard to believe that I was born alongside brothers who commit such espionage and thievery, and then they took the only two men I wanted to even walk, talk to away. They, they tried to make things right. They returned one good man to me. After, I invited them for food with us, and they returned the stolen money that they claimed they didn't take. <laughs> and I even let the brothers that we do not think they are spies if this is the encouragement they need to return the last good man to me. So they did. Although all of this debate to save two and through all this debate to save two men, I never spoke to them. I guided my steward and paid help to discuss all of these things so that I could not even have the chance to these 11 wretched men from my own family. I have heard the great number 11 is meant to resonate at an extremely high vibration, and I don't know if this is what I feel from those men and what those men did to me, or now that these 11 would, could actually do. So after the two men were returned, I welcomed the 11 to my home, and on the surface, they were afforded every luxury that good men deserve to, to allay their well-founded fears. And they came later to visit me at my work location. As I stood on marble ground, they now bowed to me in their disheveled forms, offering a gift from their father. <laughs> I acted like I did not recognize them, and I only feel pain for my father being with them and not me. Good thing they didn't recognize me, because my real connection is to the good men these evil brothers returned to me. So, at this meal, I will offer them food, unlike their early rejection of me when they placed me in the, their pit to starve before they made me a slave. I will feed them all, make them make a, make a point to feed and be welcomed to, to be, and the one welcome return man five times more food than the rest and I will see if they will hate him as they once hated me for receiving more. <laughs> I wondered if they would notice but why would they? I gave them all enough liquor for them to not think about it or to worry of what my next step might be. Genesis 42 and 43, I know. This is from CCD, the unreligious book, but I thought I'd share with you one poem from the April 2022 issue that is titled Seaweed Garden. And I hope you enjoy this reading in front of the cafe, which used to be the Aloha Cafe, which was the start of the open mic that I did here in Chicago. I hope everyone is remaining safe. I'm going to read as many single poems as I can here because this place is just awesome and I could even have the Cubs World Series winning shirt on under my ultra excellent jacket. So I hope everyone is being good. Abe thinks so as well. So be good, be honest, and stay safe. And I look forward to each and every one of you talking to each and every one of you very, very soon. Thank you all so much.